Hello friends, this is Leo Chirap again and today we are going to discuss on electrical systems, primary school science and this is part 2. At the previous video, we have discussed on what is electricity, the importance of electricity in our daily lives and the electrical circuit and components. And now in this video, we are going to talk about enrichment of bulbs and batteries, electrical conductors and insulators using and conserving electricity. So now let's start. Arrangement of bulbs, I mean arrangement of batteries. The arrangement of batteries and bulbs can affect the brightness of bulb. Batteries can be either be arranged in series or parallel. Now let's look at a series arrangement. There is only one electrical pathway in series arrangement. And now if you look at this picture below, you can see that there is one electrical pathway for electrical current to flow through. The batteries must be connected to one after another. The voltages of the batteries will add up to allow more cu current to flow through the bulb and causing it to light up more brightly. The batteries in series arrangement will however be used up faster. So now I hope you understand the series of arrangement of batteries and now let's, sh let's go. And now let's look at the parallel arrangement. In the parallel arrangement there is more than one electrical pathway in parallel arrangement and now if you look at this picture below you can see that there are there is more than one electrical pathway. In this picture below, you can see that there are two electrical pathways in a parallel arrangement. The voltages of the batteries will not add up so that the number of batteries will not affect the brightness of the bulb. The batteries in parallel will last for longer time. And now let's go on to arrangement of bulbs. In series arrangement, there is one electrical pathway. Now if you look at this picture below, you can see that there are bulbs and, and the series can go to one electrical pathway. All the batteries, I mean, I mean, sorry, all the bulbs share the total amount of electric current that is flowing through the circuit and thus the battery can last for longer but the bulbs will light up dimmer. And if one of the bulbs fuels, the circuit is broken or the circuit is open and the other bulbs will not light up. So I hope you understand the series arrangement of bulbs and now let's go on. Parallel arrangement. There is more than one electrical pathway. And now if you look at this picture, you can see that there is one electrical pathway. I mean, sorry, there are there are more than one electrical pathways and now in this picture there are two electrical pathways all the batteries can receive the total amount of electric current that it flows through in the circuit thus the battery can last for a shorter period of time and the bulbs will light up brighter if one fuses the other bulbs will not be affected and now let's go on now here, here are the points of comparison. For series, it has only one path that the current can flow pass through or flow through to the components to one or to another. While for parallel, 
there are two or more paths that the current sl splits up and passes through each branch at the same time and the paths are independent of each other for the series the brightness of bulbs will be dimmer while the the brightness of bulbs in peril will be brighter if one of the bulbs are removed or damaged for series electrical current cannot flow through through the circuit and the remaining bulb will not light up while for peril electrical current can still flow through the other path and the other bulb will still light up while for the application for parallel connection it's used for connection of circuits in house example like twinkling lights and bumper cars and front fares so i hope you understand the points of comparison and arrangement of bulbs in series and parallel and now let's go move on And now let's look on to electrical conductors and insulators. Conductors of electricity that allow, allows electricity to pass through. Most metals are good conductors of electricity. Insulators of electricity doesn't flow through electricity to pass through. And most of the non-metals are insulators of electricity. Now if you look at this picture here, they are conductors of electricity. For metals, they are copper, silver, aluminium, and steel. While for non-metals, they are water, graphite, carbon, and pencil lead. Water, carbon, and pencil lead are examples of non-metals that are conductors of electricity. While for insulators of electricity, they are rubber, plastic, wood, and paper. So, I hope you understand the topic the, the concept of electrical conductors and insulators and let's let's go on and now let's talk about using electricity electricity can cause electric shocks and fire if they are not used properly some ways you know to prevent yourself from getting shocks for the first point is electricity an electric appliance should only be repaired by a qualified electrician and never poke things into electric socket if you poke, poke things in an electric so socket the thing may be a good conductor of electricity and electricity will be able to pass through the object easily and your body will get uh, electric shock and you must ensure that there's no exposed wires if there's one you have to ask ask your parents to to be re, to repair it or a qualified electrician and put it, and you have to avoid overloading the socket with too many plugs as they may start to cause a big fire and never touch switches or handle electrical appliance with your wet hands as water is a good conductor for electricity now for conserving electricity it is very important to conserve electricity as fossil fuels are used for generating electricity and there are they are renewable renewable sources if you burn fossil fuels in order to generate electricity also causes air pollution and global warming and most of electricity would be wasted there are some ways to conserve electricity is using electrical energy saving appliance and you must use a low energy consumptions i need to turn on fans instead of air conditioners if you spend more time of air conditioners then all of the electricity will be wasted and you have to switch off electrical appliance when they are not in use in sometimes people may forget to switch off switch off the electric appliance if you 
and please try not to forget forget to switch off as there are a lot of electric electricity may be wasted only use the washing machine for full loads example if you use the washing machine for one or two clothes then most of the water and electricity will be wasted so i hope you understand how to conserve and use electricity we will discuss about electric electrical system uh, questions in the next video until that thank you and take care and if you have any doubts or questions please type in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell button thank you and have a nice day